consanguinity describes a situation where a couple who are planning to have children are related to each other by blood. In this example, Anne's mother Jane is the sister of John's father Ian, and so Anne and John are first cousins. There is an increased risk of genetic disorders occurring in children from parents who are related. For first cousins, where there is no other consanguinity in previous generations, this risk is approximately 5%. Genetic disorders are not confined to consanguineous parents. The risk of genetic disorders in the general population is 2.5%. So while consanguinity does double the risk, first cousins still have a 95% chance of having a healthy child. If there is consanguinity in previous generations and the couple come from a small isolated population, the risk to the children of a first cousin relationship does increase to greater than 5%. A 1993 study showed that, for families where consanguinity had been practiced for many generations, first cousin parents trebled their risk of having a child with an autosomal recessive disorder. The more distantly related the couple, the less risk to the baby. Here, Anne and John are shown as being first cousins once removed. The risk to children of first cousins once removed is 3.5 to 4%. In the next example, Anne and John are second cousins. The risk in a second cousin relationship is 3%. The risk to a couple who are third cousins is the same as the general population. So as you can see, whilst cousin marriage does increase the risk of having a baby with a genetic disorder, in most instances, the children will be healthy.